He's gone full retard, met the parents, and gave us blue steel. There it is. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for Ben Stiller's top 10 most hilarious moments. This next shot's gonna be a real bitch, huh? It shouldn't be that bad. Nah, probably not that bad. Number 10, Tom Cruise, Mission Improbable. In order to do my job, I have to ask myself, who is Tom Cruise? What is Tom Cruise? Why is Tom Cruise? For killer action films like Mission Impossible 2, it's understandable that actors may need a stunt double. Well, he's the most dedicated one yet. You have to walk like the actor, uh, talk like the actor, uh, legally change your name to sound like the actors. In a sketch for the MTV Movie Awards, Stiller played Tom Cruise's stunt double, who goes the extra mile by impersonating him in every way, to varying degrees of success. <laughs> Though you have to give him credit, he's got that laugh down. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, Stiller's key to success, heavyweights. Get on the scale, son. All right. Get off the scale. Okay, then. Turn off the camera. In this Disney flick, Stiller plays fitness fanatic Tony Perkis, who buys out a summer camp where larger children go to lose weight. Attention, Attention campers. campers, tonight's, tonight's lecture is liposuction, liposuction option, option, or obsession. Or obsession. What follows is a battle of fit versus fat, with Stiller nearly reaching the pinnacle of hamminess. Repulse the monkey. However, our choice for his top moment in this film goes to his introduction, where he spouts what is quite possibly the greatest motivational line of all time. At age 12, I weighed 319 pounds. I had bad skin, low self-esteem, and no self-respect. Now, I eat success for breakfast with skim milk. Number eight, you're in my world now, Grandma. Happy Gilmore. Could I trouble you for a glass of warm milk? It helps put me to sleep. You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. In what is quite a sadistic role for an Adam Sandler film, Stiller plays a corrupt and verbally abusive employee of a retirement home who often attacks Happy's grandmother. Now you will go to sleep, or I will put you to sleep. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Though Stiller was uncredited for the role, we can't help but love just how vicious this manager can be. My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh. now your back's gonna hurt because you just pull landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? Number seven, ass-kicking newscasters, Anchorman. Como están, bitches? Spanish language news is here. Tonight's top story, the sewers run red with Burgundy's blood. Yeah, yeah. It's considered one of the funniest films of all time, so of course Stiller would want a piece of it. Of course. Playing a Spanish anchorman ahead of an angry mob of newscasters, Stiller leads the charge in the hopes of taking Will Ferrell's Ron Burgundy down a peg in a violent clash. <laughs> Despite the fact that it's only a brief cameo, we still remember this scene for its sheer zaniness. Policia! Number six, Stiller dances it out Starsky and Hutch. Starsky's bored. Oh. <laughs> ah! Anybody else bored? Say what you will about the remake, but this scene cracks us up. You really want a piece of this? Oh, I don't want a piece. I want the whole thing. By the book, no-nonsense cop David Starsky has little time for fun. That is, until he accidentally gets a drop of cocaine in his coffee. Thank you, big Earl. The result? All right, looks like it's over. Remember, $2 Harvey Walton. Oh, my God, David Starsky taking it over the line. Admit it, ladies, your ovaries just exploded. Number five, the toast, meet the Fockers. I love you, honey. Mwah. Family gatherings are always awkward, even more so when your father-in-law suspects you of cheating and injects you with a powerful truth serum 
just to get his point across. Is that tartar sauce on your shoulder? Tartar sauce? Ah! Oh. Why? This serum, however, leaves Stiller revealing a little more than you'd like to hear. I still masturbate to Pam. Greg. What? It's true, honey, what? Come on, you're hot, look at her. Look at those boobs, man. I just wanna, I just wanna lather them up with soap and just. Probably a family affair best soon forgotten. Oh, and uh, Jack, Pam's pregnant. <gasps> Fuck her out. Number four, walk off Zoolander. It's a walk off. It's a walk off. Some say this is the role that Stiller will always be remembered for, and we can believe it. What would you say your trademark is if you have one? Well, I guess the look I'm best known for is blue steel. What's that look like? A fashion model with a strange pout and a stranger accent. He's the best of the best. That is, before he's challenged by rival Owen Wilson. Who are you trying to get crazy with, is it? Don't you know I'm local? They end up facing each other in a walk-off, which is kind of like a catwalk, but it involves the removal of their underwear. How do things turn out? Ouch. Oh. Hope David Bowie has some ice on standby. Disqualified. Number three, food porn, dodgeball, a true underdog story. Oh, hello. I'm White Goodman. Here's where Stiller returns to the villain obsessed with fitness role. Only this time, he's all about the dodgeball. It was an accident, come on! I thought she was in play! Not a chance. What, we're sweating like grease monkeys out here? I can't hold onto a ball. As White Goodman, Stiller plays a slimy, lecherous gym freak whose determination to stay healthy has left him stuck with another unhealthy obsession. Oh, yeah. Sure, I think you should take a look at... Whoa! No! What? And just like that, everyone who watched this movie immediately went off garlic sauce. But don't worry, he gets his in the end. Spare me. Number two, Stiller is Simple Jack, Tropic Thunder. I ain't got a good, good, good brain. It's the infamous line that got a lot of people angry, but had even more laughing their asses off. Everybody knows you never go full retard. What do you mean? Tropic Thunder is full of Hollywood stereotypes, and Stiller plays the action hero who tries to go serious role. His dramatic character? Simple Jack, the story of a mentally impaired farmhand who can talk to animals, was a box office disaster that many critics called one of the worst movies of all time. And Tug Speedman took his role so seriously, he lived and breathed it. In a weird way, it was almost like I had to sort of fool my mind into believing that it wasn't retarded. Yeah, yeah, right? He was farting in bathtubs and laughing your ass off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as his co-star Kirk Lazarus is quick to tell him, his role as Simple Jack may have been a bit too much. Never go for retard. You don't buy that? Yeah, Sean Penn, 2001, I am saying. Remember? Went for retard. Went home empty handed. But that doesn't stop him from reprising the role one last time. I'll see you tonight when I go to bed in my head movies. But this head movie makes my eyes rain. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Gah! You like bread? Yeah. Have some. Hasvirativa nu televik! Partika patika! Gentlemen. Yeah, we're looking for a guitar pick like this one. Don't mess with the volcano, my man. Because I will go Pompeii on your butt. Number one, Stiller Zipper, There's Something About Mary. Ow! Everyone knows it, every man fears it. I, I got it stuck. You got what stuck? It's the situation that makes every Y chromosome squeal. What the hell's going on here? 
Neighbors said they heard a lady scream. Uh, well, you're looking at him. In this romantic comedy, we see Stiller talk to a psychiatrist about his old prom date, Mary. And through a flashback, we see how tragedy struck just before their big night together. What's that bubble there? What do you think? It's a... Well, how the hell did you get the beans above the frag? I mean, I'm what follows is probably one of the most cringe-inducing moments in cinema. It's just like pulling off a band-aid. <laughs> a one, and a two, and a... We got a bleeder! Gentlemen, you can uncross your legs now. Did you enjoy our countdown? What's your favorite funny Ben Stiller moment? Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And cut! That's the trailer right there.